Hi, it's John from Android Addicts, and today we're going to be looking at Bixby routines for Samsung One UI 2.1. I did a previous video on Bixby routines for my Galaxy S10 Plus, and since then there have been a few improvements, so I'm just going to run through those today. Okay, so what exactly is Bixby routines? Well, it's basically a feature on Samsung phones which allows you to perform various tasks depending on where you are, what you're doing, and how your phone is currently working. So to get to the Bixby routines, you can either go through the settings like I just did, or you will find a shortcut in the notification panel here, which you can press and hold on to get in. So the idea behind Bixby routines is that it follows the if this then that type methodology. So if something is happening, then do this and that. So there are various examples here that they give you to get going with. So maybe there's some settings before you go to bed, save battery at night time if you forget to plug your phone in, different things when you're driving and charging in meetings, etc, etc. You kind of get the idea here. There's lots of different ones to choose from. Okay, let's go through some of the additional features in the One UI 2.1 version of Bixby Routines. What I'm going to do is set up a place for it to be activated. So if, and then add, we're going to select a place. So we've selected our place called Bearwood here. Now we can set the radius of the circle for when this routine will become active. So I'm going to select when I arrive in Bearwood. Next. Then what should we do? One of the new features here is the network mode. So we can now set our phone to be 3G only, 5G, 4G, etc. So if we knew that Bearwood had 5G, we would select 5G. So when we arrive at Bearwood, turn on 5G. Now we want some additional features as well. So let's see what else we have here. So we've got a new feature called Music Share. So let's say you've got lots of friends in Bearwood. Now, when you arrive there, what you want to do is make sure that everyone can still use your Bluetooth speaker. So you can allow your contacts or everyone in the surrounding area. And you can ask or don't ask permission. So we could say everyone in Bearwood can just use the Bluetooth speaker without any problems. Now, the other nice new feature that they added in, which I complained about last time, was the sound mode and volume. So previously we only had this section up here, but now we can actually individually set notification volume and system volumes here. So in Bearwood it's quite noisy so we're going to put the ringtone to maximum. We're going to set our notification sound to maximum and our system sound can just stay at about 50%. Along with that we're going to set our media volume. So here, Bluetooth audio, everyone's going to be using our Bluetooth audio, so we'll set it to max. Phone speaker, put it up a bit, and wired headphones, doesn't matter too much. And the other thing, because Bearwood is obviously a music town, we've got the option to set the equaliser. Again, one of the new features this is. So what do you want to do? Set it as pop, rock, or custom. So you can customise how you want your equaliser to be in your settings inside the phone, or you can actually set just a pre-determined set of settings. So let's say we have some rock music. Okay, one of the additional new features is edge panels. So we can turn on or off edge panels depending on how we feel. So maybe when we get to Bearwood, we want to enable Samsung Internet Panel, Reminder Panel, the Tools Panel. Obviously you can download additional panels here. So I can imagine this being useful maybe if you're at work and you want to have a calculator panel or something which is you know going to be more useful at work than is at home then this is where you would go. The other thing in the display section that's new is the edge lighting effect. So you can set different edge lighting depending on your Bixby routine. You should just be able to see that on the camera there. Again you can set all the different settings here. The other additional new feature we have is the screen resolution. So we can now configure what screen resolution we have. 
Now, for some reason, best known Samsung, they didn't allow you to choose a screen refresh rate as well. So I hope, really hope they'll add that into the new version that gets released because you'd want to be able to set yourself to be, I don't know, full HD, 120 hertz to show off to your friends in Bearwood. Whereas when you're back home, you probably just want to, well, you'd either keep it at that or maybe you want to save some battery or have it in quad HD. But that's one of the new features as well. So you can set the screen resolution. Down under the lock screen, there's a new feature here, which is to unlock the phone. So perhaps in Bearwood, you trust all the people there and you want to keep your phone unlocked all the time. And we can keep going down and under functions we've got here, we can close an app. So say there's something you don't want to be running in the background or something that you just want to close off. Maybe it's, I don't know, it could be Spotify, it could be, could be anything. Let's put Spotify on here. Speaking of Spotify, this is the additional new feature here. We can choose a, a playlist to start running. So the workout playlist, for example. We would have to then get rid of the close nap because we don't want to close Spotify. We're going to play this playlist. Again, near the bottom here in the functions, we have start focus mode. So this is the feature which sets your phone to do not disturb and changes brightness and colors and things just to make sure you're staying focused. And we also get the option down at the bottom here to turn on medium power saving. Now that's currently grayed out because it's conflicting with something else in the list. So I, I won't bother going through which one it is that's doing this. We're just going to put bare wood in here. Okay. So I'll just go through a few of the other Bixby routines which are under the Discover tab. These aren't enabled by default, remember, because they need a bit of configuring before they will become enabled. So let's have a look at this one here, for example, save battery at night. This routine will run if you go to bed without charging your phone. So sometimes I can see this would be quite useful. I have put my phone on the wireless charger before and it hasn't picked it up. So I've woken up with a non fully charged battery. So this one will turn on if your phone is not charging, it will turn on the medium power saving mode. So we could say if it's gone past your bedtime, let's say 11 o'clock, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and I'll put Sunday on there as well. Between 7 and 6 a.m., sorry, between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m., if your phone is not charging, turn on medium power saving. Now we may want to do a few other things here, so we could set our network mode to be 2G only or 3G only. I'm going to set it to 3G as my SIM doesn't support 2G. Now interestingly it doesn't tell you which SIM it's going to do this for, so in a dual SIM phone that would probably be quite useful. What I'm going to guess is that it does it for both, so I'm going to set it to 3G and we can test this out and see what happens. Okay, so another thing you could do is you could beep your phone. So maybe you want it to beep so that you know that you haven't got it on charge and that would then notify you that you're not charging your phone and it's gone past your bedtime so that could be quite handy if you don't hear the beep then obviously you're going to miss out but it's probably worth giving it a try okay we're just going to test the network mode to see what happens here so we've got sim 1 on 3g and sim 2 on 2g so what i'll do is just edit that routine Save battery at night. We're going to edit and say if our Bluetooth is connected, just so we can turn it on and just test it and you can see what happens here. So if our headset's connected, set it 3G only and then beep. And we're not charging. Okay. So we're going to pretend we've gone to bed. Okay, so we didn't hear the beep because the headset is connected, but what we're going to do is check whether the 3G only mode was set on both sims or just on the one sim. It looks to me like it was only set or not set at all on either sims. I've set the sims up like this now so we can see whether this works or not. So I'm going to come out of here, turn on the headset again. 
Okay, so let's see if... Yeah, so it's only currently doing it for Sim 1, which is a bit of a shame. So hopefully in an additional update to Bixby Routines, we can actually set the Sim or choose which Sim we want the network mode to apply to. So currently it's only applying to Sim 1. So if I turn this off, we should find that they go back to their previous state, which they have. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. I've left a link to the previous video down below just so you can have a quick look at some of the other routines I played around with last time. There are some nice new features that have arrived, mainly the sound one that I was having problems or frustrations with last time. So yeah, let me know what you think down below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future and I will see you in the next one.